Alright, so a few days ago I put up a video on visualising linked data. Uh, I've just seen it back and I've realised that I've missed out a scene where I write the Sparkle query. Uh, and I've checked my my computer and I've deleted it. So I'm just going to go through again the, this Sparkle query. Um, it was how to grab uh, people and punk and the bands they've been in if the band was a punk rock band. Uh, I'm still going to go over it fast because we we've done it in class, uh, but just to refresh your memory. Um, the things we want to select, um, I delete at these top two lines first because we don't care if people are from Berlin and we don't care when they were born. Uh, I delete uh, these bottom two lines because we don't care when people died and we don't want to put a filter on only selecting people that were born after a certain date. Uh, we don't care when people died or born, so get rid of them. So now we've selected people in the name. And this is selecting all the people and the names. So this is every everything that has a name. This is selecting here um, that has this property name, and then we're pulling back the name of the person. But so what else we want is uh, bands. Uh, that these people are a member of. So band. Uh, you might be wondering how I kind of know. How do I know this is band member? Well, I've explored. I've used Sparkle Ex Explorer before to do queries, and then there's a there's a normally a button like here. I don't know if you can just see at the end. If I click this, I won't now. It'll tell me about all the properties um, attached to this person. Uh, and one of them could be band member, uh, and then. So I've just learned that band member is a property of, of people. Uh, so you do need to explore a bit in Sparkle Explorer, Explorer uh, I think, to be able to write queries. Give it a kick. Um, to where were we? Anyway, we were selecting people and names. Um, now we want... And we've got bands that these people were band members of. Uh, we also want genres. I want to narrow that down to punk rock. We also want the band name. So we can get rid of, we don't actually want the person, we just want the name and the band name. So to get you part of the person and the band name, and you need to, uh, for the next bit of the video, I put it into uh, Google Refine. So you want the results as JSON and press go. Um, oh dear, I got an error message then. Let's just see what that uh, message was. I think I spelled this wrong here actually. Yes, it's downloaded this now. So, uh, pause the video now if you want to copy this. <laughs> I'll put it in the comments actually, so you can copy and paste it. Uh, but this is how you get a list of all the people uh, and the name. 